I mean, it makes mm -hmm. sense to kind of take a more proactive approach well, yeah. to some of these areas because they're all vulnerable. The hundreds of mudslides that we had in January uh, after all of that rain. And now we're on the other side of things where after some weekend rain, we're going to be pretty dry for a yeah. little while. Not necessarily zero rain in the forecast, but it is going to be fairly dry. Feast or famine, it feels like. Do you want to take over? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you okay. got this. <laughs> okay, I'll take over. We'll talk about what's going to happen weather-wise. Strong area of high pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere basically means a mountain of air is going to set up camp very close to the Bay Area and the entire West Coast. That suppresses the development of really any cloud cover. So basically sunshine in store tomorrow and again on Thursday before this mountain of air kind of slides off to the south and allows some cooler air to return as we head to Friday and Saturday. But above average high temperatures are going to be with us tomorrow and Thursday. Thursday, enjoy that little taste of spring. Not necessarily going to be balmy outside, but a few degrees above normal, especially inland. Futurecast, again, nothing but clear skies other than some fog developing in the central bay and potentially spilling through the delta into the inland East Bay valleys each morning. But otherwise, sunshine tomorrow, sunshine again on Thursday. A little fog tries to return to along the coast and around the bay to start the day on Friday. That heralds the beginning of a more typical weather pattern as we get closer to the weekend. The weekend also brings us the first of a couple of rain chances, neither of which are very impressive. A 20 to 30 percent chance of a couple of passing showers Friday night into Saturday, a similar 20 to 30 percent chance Tuesday into Tuesday night of next week. We're talking trace amounts of rain. This is not going to make any difference at all in terms of the drought situation. We'll keep you updated in case any more substantial areas of moisture decide to head our way. Right now, well, still some sunshine out there right now. It's nice that the sun doesn't go down to about 545. Temperatures are still in the mid to upper 50s to around 60 degrees. We had almost exactly normal temperatures across the board today. Tonight, a little chilly, especially inland, dropping down to the mid to upper 30s there with low 40s around the bay and along the coast. But highs tomorrow will be a couple degrees above normal around the bay, several degrees above normal farther inland. Pretty much everybody topping out in the 60s, except right along the coast. But even there, you'll get up into the upper 50s. Low to mid 60s down the peninsula with the warmest spots inland in the Santa Clara Valley, reaching up into the upper 60s in San Jose. Low to mid 60s inland in the East Bay. Again, some fog to begin the day. That'll slow down the warm up by just two or three degrees worth. Temperatures in San Francisco and Oakland reaching the low 60s. Low to mid 60s for all of the North Bay. Just a little bit warmer the farther and farther inland you go. With temperatures potentially reaching the upper 60s for northern Napa County and Sonoma County as well. The warm air sticks around on Thursday. Maybe Maybe a degree or two warmer and then we're back to near normal temperatures for the end of the work week and the weekend with those two lonely little rain chances Friday night and Saturday and again next Tuesday. Neither of which is going to amount to very much at all. We're just going to be saving every last drop yeah. once again. At least right? we're almost normal for the water year so far. So oh. everything from here on out is bonus territory. Normal is a great word. Yeah, it is. We like normal. <laughs> Thanks, Paul.